Hi, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> just happened. <laughs> Welcome to Stupid Movies, <laughs> episode 126. Where we watch them so you don't have to, but you need to watch last week's and this week's. This week, we are watching my all-time favorite movie, Silver Bullet. Released from Umbrella Entertainment, the Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, so... Directed by Daniel Ateas. Right. It's 94 minutes long. Yep, rated R, 1985. Uh, uh, Starring Busey Fruit. <laughs> Busey Fruit. You're a Busey Fruit. <laughs> Better of the two Corys. Yep. Corey Haim, oh. Everett McGill, Terry O'Quinn, Megan Follows. It's got an awesome cast. So Silver Bullet, yeah, all, my all-time favorite movie. It's the first movie that scared the crap out of me. So Rob, what's this movie about? Yes. <coughs> it's uh, basically about the small town, Tarker Mills. Uh, people are dying. Oh. They think it's a maniac mm -hmm. out there. There's a... Uh, Corey Haim plays a crippled boy in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Um... They're trying to figure out who it is. It's kind of a whodunit to the first half. Very simple story, which I love. It's uh, simple and effective to the point. There's not a whole lot of backstory. No, they really don't give you much of any explanation at all. And no. it didn't need it, so no. and they even kudos say to that. you. Yeah, they say that in the movie. You know, uh, everybody's like, well, tell me how this guy uh, turned into the werewolf. I was like, I don't know. That's basically the story. They're trying to figure out what's going on. People are dying over a span of a few months. Right. They can't figure it out. Lo and behold, Corey Haim finds out. It was Corey Haim. It was him. <laughs> but this was good. It was. I like this movie a lot. It is, it is I a really great do. movie. I, I'm not a huge werewolf guy, but I like this. To me, like I said, it's the first movie I've ever seen. It scared the crap out of me. It gave me nightmares. It's what started my love for horror and werewolves. Fascinating television. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your butt's in my space. It's based off... Stephen King's Cycle of the Werewolf, which is uh, just, yeah, it's just a short kind of novel with pictures. So, what, you know, what did we like? Uh, I like this movie. <laughs> oh, man, I love Review it. done. <laughs> I love it. It gives me a big boner. Um, the music in this movie is just fucking top-notch. Uh, very foreboding. Very foreboding. It just, it creates that kind of um, tense kind of... It builds up scenes perfectly. Yeah. And it's very, um... Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot what I was going to say. And it's... They, oh, it's a, it's a, oh, yeah. I love it. Um, what else did you like? Because this is your favorite. I love everything about this damn movie. <laughs> um, the atmosphere, obviously. The score in the atmosphere. It's, it's, it's not a real dark movie, but it's very eerie. Right. You know, very tense. Most of the movie actually took place during the day, too. Yeah. After about the midpoint of the movie... Daytime is not safe anymore. Usually in horror yep. movies, daytime you're safe. Nighttime is when something happens. When you find out who the werewolf is. Right. Uh, all of a sudden, the daytime isn't safe anymore for them either. Right. I really thought it was great that there were kids actually in danger in right. this movie. Most horror movies, they kind of... You always know the kids are going to be safe. The kids are going to be fine. and You know, nothing bad's going to happen to them. Not in this one. No, no. Uh, the whole way through, they felt like they were in danger. Yeah. Segue into another, like, is the acting. The acting, I thought, you know, a lot of people say, it's, oh, you know, it's the 80s. I mean, think about the time. <coughs> it was, but the acting, I thought, was great. I, I mean, thought it was spot on, really. Yeah, Gary Busey, Corey Haim, all of them. I didn't feel like it was overdone at any point. No. Like, Corey Haim did a uh, phenomenal job playing the disabled boy. I mean, that had to have been a lot of work. I'm too old to play... <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> I'm too old to be playing... That's exactly how it was, too. Gary Busey was like... <laughs> I'm too old to be... Blah, 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but that, the best line is, I'm too old to be playing Hardy Boys meets Red Red Werewolf. <laughs> I love that line. You know, it's, it's, it's classic. The Werewolf. I, I like The Werewolf. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was bad. Everyone no. complains about it. Yeah, I mean, you don't see it a ton, uh, which I think works. You know, when you see its eyes, you see it looming in the bushes, right, you right. see it, its shadow. It's kind of creepy. Like me. Yeah. Creeping around outside. Outside my windows right, looking right. at me, yeah. Right. That, I mean, that kind of leads to a nitpick, though. I mean, yeah, the werewolf could have looked better. There's no doubt. I it could have. 
you know, if it would have looked more like what's on this shirt for the movie, would have been cool. I like that there was a Mr. and Mrs. Thayer in the movie. I hate that. No. Don't ever do that. All these stupid movies these days do that all the time, and it pisses me off. Hey, that's the title of our show. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but for dislikes, I mean, really, I mean, what if we look better? We said that. Yeah, yeah. There uh, were no boobs. Zero boobs. True. And I didn't like that. <laughs> there was some gore. Uh, and it looked good for what was there. Right. It could have been more. You know, and that's, again, a nitpick. You yeah. Know, more gore is always better. Then I wouldn't have had anything to bitch about. Exactly. So. So, you know. <laughs> Except for the lack of boobs. Right. You know, boobs are good. I absolutely love this movie. I've seen it, I don't even know how many times. I know a lot of you people on Instagram seem to love it, which makes me happy. Yeah. Good for you. I want to hug you all and give you kisses. No, I mean, Not inappropriately. Kisses. No. We should probably talk about, too, the, the Blu-ray release, The Umbrella. Can you see that? You can't do the umbrella release. Yeah. Oh, here, I'll block me and the, study. Uh... The umbrella release. <laughs> and we just lost our one Australian viewer. <laughs> but uh, So Umbrella re-released this, did a, a yep. beautiful remaster. Very good training. It is. Yeah. Wow. No grain or anything. No. Nope. That's going to be a long, boring explanation I'm going to skip. They did a really good job taking out what made the effects work. You know, and, and thinking of that, I just thought of this. Uh, there's not a big transformation scene in the movie. There is a little bit in the garage, and it looks decent. It was good. Uh, but this is, I, as far as I know, the only werewolf movie that has a backwards transformation showing him go back to human. Right. And that looked really cool with the hair coming in the skin and the ears. Right. How they did that for in 1985, I don't know. Yeah, but it was pretty impressive. It looked though. pretty good. What I want to know, and this is my biggest... I should be on camera when I say that. What I want to know... And this is my biggest question with this movie. After the end of the movie, I always ask myself, what happens next? You know, the movie's over. What's going to be the next thing? The next thing that's going to happen is that these two teenagers and their crazy drunk uncle are going to have to explain to the priest, uh, to the police, why there is a dead, naked priest in their living room. Uh, yeah, man. Overall, I, like I said, I absolutely love it. It's my all-time favorite movie. I don't know if anything will ever top it for me. Yeah. It holds that nostalgia. It creeps me out. It gives you a nostalgia boner. Yes, very much so. So, um, uh, final review. So, so I'm going to give this uh, 6.912 rubs <laughs> yeah. out of 8. That works, man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it 9 out of 8. I would give it infinity out of 8. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> absolutely great movie. Go watch it if you haven't. So last week and this week we watched our favorite movies. Our favorites. Uh, next week we're gonna pick something really something, bad. Something, yeah, something so we haven't we seen. Be probably. like, oh, oh, watch this garbage. <laughs> so you can find us at www.facebook.com slash stupid movies or over on Instagram 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 <laughs> or over at Instagram at stupid movies. And I'm on there at the Horror Punk. Yep. He may show up at some point. At some point I might. And otherwise, just check us out on YouTube. The page you're on now, just like it. Yep. And that'll do it. Let us know what you like, think. Like, subscribe. Right. Let no, us... I don't want to be that guy. Fuck you guys who are out there all the time and you're like, oh, if you like this, like and subscribe. No, no, no. Fuck I wasn't you. saying that. No, Let's... I know. I don't, want to... I don't want to do that. So no. you know what? Don't fucking subscribe. Yeah. Hell with you people. Just join us on Instagram and Facebook and then you'll yeah. know when the new ones come right. out. Right. And yeah. if you're a subscriber now... Unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. And then resubscribe so you can unsubscribe again. Yeah. Because fuck YouTube's algorithms. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go watch this movie. Let yeah. us know what you think of it if you don't like it. You're wrong! I <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, we got oh we got peel things on here, dude. Do we? We can win stuff. Oh <gasps> I wonder what we get. Sip, pee and win. Peel and win. <laughs> Sip, pee and win.